Welcome to this new series. Welcome to the video. This will be a new series called Beer and Books. This video is on three game changing books that I read for personal development. 2018 helped me well as a Marine and my day to day life. Let's get into it. For the first book I want to talk about, it's called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Great book. It's based on stoicism. He cre Ryan Holiday creates a modern interpretation of the stoicism philosophy. Uh, the three breakdowns, like chapter-wise, is into aspire, success, and failure. My biggest takeaway from this book was that life is cyclical. No matter where or what point of life you're in, you're going to always find yourself at one point where you're aspiring to be great. You're going to have some success. If you're not having success, you're failing. And then you have to go through the cycle again. There's no point where you're ever going to be successful and stay successful. Because to me, I think one point that I always relate to is that if you're not moving, you're you're atrophying. And that's just like a me like a medical term I got from my, one of my buddies who's a physical therapist. And uh, I think it's true. Like when you're sick, if you stop moving, you're going to just your body's going to break down. And that's where I'm getting at. Uh, it's going to be a bonus feature for this book because I want to say the one of the highlights of Stoicism or like a great book to get into for Stoicism is Meditation by Marcus Aurelius. Grab that book. Boom. I carry this book with me almost everywhere I go when I travel because whenever I find myself through any type of hardship, I refer to this book because... Marcus Aurelius was the emperor of Rome, and uh, he wrote a bunch of quotes to himself, like as a diary, and that shit is just inspiring. It, it makes you think that whatever you're going through isn't that bad. So, stoicism. Get into it. Marines, read. And on to the second book which I recently read, which is called Man's Search for Meaning by Victor E. Frankel. Victor, or Dr. Frankel, is a psychologist who uh, survived the Holocaust, <clears throat> and he is known for creating logotherapy. Uh, for someone who is anxious and goes through some sort of depression, I highly recommend this book. Uh, he gets into the thoughts of, uh, he, he researched from Sigmund Freud, and he likes, one quote that he gets to me with the most was, what you resist persists. And as a personal trainer, and when I was dealing with Marines, it it, it just resonated with me very, very well. Like, as a trainer, to think of, like, dieting, if you were to say, like, I'm not going to eat fatty foods or I'm not going to eat fried foods, more than often, if you just do it cold turkey, like, if you think of smoking as well, more than likely, you're going to just jump right back into it just from, like, withdrawals. Your will isn't as strong as you think it is or what you may think it is. And that's what I got from this book. And just hearing stories of Holocaust survivors and the stories of what happened during that time from someone who's actually been there. It's a really humbling story and a uh, book read. I actually listened to it through Audible, uh, through audio book. Great book, great listen. Give it a read. And for the third book is called Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. What I really loved about this book is that it's a brief history of mankind, just as it says in the book. It got me to understand like people's differences. I know 2018, we're very big on identity politics. One thing that question or one statement that comes through my head or a question I have in my head 
is how do you differentiate your thoughts from your uh, identity? Because you are not your thoughts, and your thoughts aren't you, if that makes sense. Like, to think of if you are a, let's say for me, if you're Asian, you don't have to be smart or stereotypically smart. Um, something like that. Or if you're a Democrat, you're something. I don't want to get into politics. That's just not me. But great book. Broke it down. First couple chapters made me realize the difference between uh, sapiens, also known as wise humans, versus Neanderthals. Two different dialects, if you could speak. And... Uh, kind of just opened my eyes on how humans are in terms of history. And like, we're not so different, yet we are very different. Great book. I can honestly say I'm a slow reader for this when it comes to nonfiction that's not philosophy. So, I don't know, take your time, read the book. Great stuff. So there you have it. Three books for 2018. Changed my life. Or these are books that I refer to very commonly. If you have ever have a deep conversation with me, I will more than likely refer to one of these books when it comes to like explaining myself. It's like, uh, I, I heard mo sometimes it can come from a podcast, but more than often if I break, if I reference statistics or just like knowledge that from what I think is uncommon it's gonna be most likely from one of these books maybe uh, Tim Ferriss here and there or Joe Rogan something like that maybe Gary Vee every now and then but hope you enjoy the video again drop a like subscribe have fun be good guys